Um, anything you want to start off with, Di, that you've been wanting to talk about, or do you want to go to the letters, or what up? I want to know how your uh, your impact week. Uh, what I want to know how uh, what you did in the impact team. What I as far as what? Well, like okay, how did how did you like, so you did some good stuff, right? I always do good stuff. Okay, how did I had a cross to front of the show? Very good, very good. Very, you had a very couple good. good ma- yeah, I, I will say this. No, well, here's Cross's only problem. He hasn't been in the business that long, as you know, right? Hello. Well, not compared to us. Yeah, yeah, not compared yeah, to us. No, but even in general, right? I don't think he's been in more than four years, maybe, or has he? Yeah, four, four, four years. Yeah, about four years, and since and so since they've always built him up to be this big badass, I don't think you know he's still learning how to work a a, a full match. You know what I'm saying? Right. But everything right. else, the look, his promos are super awesome. I mean, I'm, he's a, one of the best promo guys in the business right now, and I don't think people know that. Um, right. He's got a great look, great attitude. I mean, I think he's gonna, one day he's going to be a superstar in New York. He's the real deal, bro. He used to do like bare knuckle fighting and shit in Indian reservations. Uh, he always wants to learn. Um, his whole thing is he just has to get more experience in the ring but uh everything he did and have you seen the vignettes that he's been doing for impact i saw the vignettes i saw the match against the uh the fat guy and uh and against Petey. right um yeah. um so you know right now they're doing a real good job with him and then these tapings they did a little extra with him too which you'll like so cross right. is doing real good yeah good. yeah i know don likes him a lot too so. yeah yeah good yeah yeah, so, they yeah. gave him a real good spot right now, so that's good for him. That's good. Anything else you want to know about Impact? Uh, no, it sounds like I'll be, I'll, I'll be watching. I, I, Vince actually um, uh, started reviewing the show last week, and he was very impressed. Uh, he does it on, on his brand show now. Right. He does an Impact review show. And he's, he's, uh, for those that I, don't know, he's talking about Vince Russo. Vince Russo, yeah. Yep. And um, very impressed. And one, one thing I was also very impressed with, here's, here's the thing with Impact, okay? Mm-hmm. Is that it's got that old school um, TV studio type feel with the visual part of the product, right? Okay, um, but their packages, right. the vid, the vignettes and video packages are, 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 I think they're better than New York's. It's, it's wow. kind of weird, how, like the production quality of their packages is more impressive than New York, but like, but you know, they just don't have the money to spend you know half a million dollars on a set. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, like New York is a big screen and put it, but you know what I'm saying? So that's, so it's kind of weird is that you get the, the, the visual picture of a A plus type production and kind of like a C plus type production all in the same show because it's being, you have to compare the show to New York because right. that's like the competition. You know what I'm saying? So, right. but the, you know, but the, but obviously the in ring work and the, and, and bro, the, 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 um, the verbiage mm-hmm. from the character show is is definitely far more impressive and adult than anything on, on wwe right. and the conversations that the guys have on the show on right. impact are far more realistic than the conversations that they have on wwe so the only thing that wwe has going for them is their visual presentation of their in-ring product yeah. that's better than stuff on tv right now because everything yeah. else from, from the work to the um to the to the verbiage to everything it's just, i mean ring of honor impact uh, even MLW, but the work, the, the the workers on those shows. It's not like the WWE has all these great workers right now. You know, there's a lot of some of the better workers are on these other shows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's this, well, this they're handcuffed. Like, uh, they're handcuffed in what they can say and what they can do. And in these other companies, they aren't. And that's right. the beauty of it. And so, I, what was amazing to me is that when the Hardy Boys left and Jeremy Borash left, I was like, mm-hmm. "Wow, man, this place is gonna be fucked." You know what I'm saying? That's a big right. loss, but right. they just put it all together. And uh, like you said, the, like, did you see the show that I told you to watch, Joe? Probably not. No, uh, but I, one, I did see the pay per view though. But no, I, I didn't see the recent uh, TV. All right. So the one that was two weeks ago, I thought that show. I don't watch all the, the all the um, impacts because I don't have time. But I just happened to catch the one two weeks ago. And I just thought it was phenomenal. And I was talking to a couple of wrestlers that watched the show, and they were saying the same thing because all the video packages were good. The verbiage, like you said, um, was very was very realistic. You know, the in ring was great, 
and that's and and you got the payoff in Slam Anniversary. You know, uh, uh, they continued great angles. They, you know, every, great matches, and so it's really cool right now. Everybody, everybody kind of knows there's a little buzz about us, and but that's the main problem that we got that studio audience. But some people may overlook that and say, "Fuck the audience. We like the storylines and the action." You know, um, right. And 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 so and the other thing that we did a great job of is we got the fuck out of Orlando, you know, so mm -hmm. we're in Toronto, then we're in Toronto, then we're going to go to New York and the place we're going to in New York is the same place MLW went to in Queens and mm -hmm. Glenn, you wouldn't believe the energy in that place. It was fucking ridiculous and we're going to go there now, you know, impact um and we got a real big surprise with LAX that's going to fucking get over huge in New York. Um, so it's real, real cool time to be, you know, on the, you know, just it's fun, bro. It's very fun right now because like a lot of the people that are running these companies are not old school grizzled vets. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you can't do this and you can't do that. And, it's, you know, you know what I'm saying? That, let's stick for the room and shit. You know that right. all that old school shit we went through. Like everybody now, they're mostly fanboys, so they respect the wrestlers instead of trying to fuck them over. You know, right. in general, and everybody just knows that now you've got to treat people with respect and got to treat them right. You can't treat them like they used to treat us. You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna uh, do any vignettes at the Trump Towers with LAX when you're uh, in New York? That would not be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be a bad not idea. Not at all. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you guys, you, know, you try to you, you go and you're looking for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you were watching Fox Fox News and I got arrested for soliciting on Trump Towers? Yeah, right. Trying to for, for you and LAX trying to get yeah, into Trump. Right. Yeah. Try, try to like you want to beat up Trump. Yeah. I, I know you'd put the first tweet out there. Deport these guys. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're too much, bro. You are too fucking much.